In 1984, the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission introduced an exotic species of fish into the Miami Causeways. Well, today that introduction is resulting in a multi-million dollar per year fishing industry. The original concept for introducing any uh, game fish is for recreational use. There was a, a, a program set up to bring in the butterfly peacock into Florida and to introduce it as a game fish. And so what we wanted to do was to convert it into a highly desirable uh, resource that would be sought out by man through sport fishing. And it's literally created tens of thousands, millions of hours of fishing pleasure for thousands and thousands of anglers that spend in excess of $10 million a year. The benefits of introducing the butterfly peacock go back to the two primary reasons why it was introduced. And that was to reduce the overabundance of some of the exotic fish that's already present, the spotted tilapia, and then also to create additional recreational opportunities for anglers in this area. With regards to the biological effects, the number of uh, uh, spotted tilapia has been reduced by more than 50%, which is a pretty phenomenal amount. All peacock bass are very sensitive to cold temperatures, and they die below uh, 15 degrees centigrade or 60 degrees Fahrenheit. We have a natural ecological control. They can't live north of the West Palm Beach area. They've expanded out into some parts uh, to the west and some parts to the north, but as that temperature drops, they'll, it'll bring them back to their core canal. So from a biological perspective, it's helping convert that abundant and unwanted exotic forage group into a more desirable uh, game fish that can be used by man. And that's where the recreational uh, benefits have come in. We've been looking at it in Florida since uh, the mid-1960s. And uh, uh, it's interesting that we don't see these direct quantifiable detrimental effects of exotic freshwater fishes on native fishes. Uh, they seem to be, the native spe species seem to be quite resilient uh, uh, to these introduced species. Whenever you introduce an exotic species, it changes the energy flow through the aquatic ecosystem. The question then becomes, is the uh, change beneficial, innocuous, or detrimental? I think the aquatic ecosystem is far more plastic and resilient to external disturbances than what many people that are more puristic than I am feel. I look at the canals in Florida, they're all man-made, they're running through the urban areas, and when I came down from the Midwest, I didn't expect to find many. It's the only place in North America that you can go and catch a, a peacock bass. If you want to learn more about fishing for butterfly peacock bass in Florida, I'd go to uh, myfwc.com. God painted them up a lot prettier than he painted up a largemouth bass, in my humble opinion. I think a largemouth bass is beautiful, but a peacock bass is gorgeous. <laughs>